Hey friends, thank you so much for joining me for another motivational cleaning video. In today's video, I will not only be cleaning, but I will also be redecorating, switching things around, as well as decluttering and organizing. I'm so excited to be showing you guys this video because you are gonna be able to see this whole house be transformed and I'm gonna take you along the way. I know this today's video is gonna give you a ton of cleaning motivation, so let's go ahead and get started. You guys know if you've been with me for a while, this playroom has been really hard for me to decorate. I want it to look nice and presentable, but obviously it is a playroom. But I haven't really embraced just going full force playroom style with it. I have this cube system here, which I love. I got it from Walmart. It is the weathered oak and it has been really good for us. And I love all, where I can put all the bins and whatnot. But I wanna make this look somewhat nice. With having this many kids and so many toys, it is essential that we declutter and organize regularly. So the kids are actually at the pool right now. So I am gonna go ahead and start going through the things that I don't want or don't think they need anymore or they haven't played with. This is something I do not do with them home because truthfully they are emotionally attached to everything. I am really excited for today's video because it is in collaboration with my sweet new friend, Joanna Thornton. You guys, I have been getting to know her and I can honestly say, I think we're gonna be friends for a really long time. She and I have similar personalities as well as similar content on our channel and she is hilarious and super talented, you guys. You gotta go over there and subscribe. Let her know that Lynn sent you. And if you are from Joanna's channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I have really enjoyed her. She has been so much fun and I know you guys are gonna love her too. Another idea, if you might be emotionally attached to things because of the money you spent to it, just put them in bins and put them in the attic or under your bed or in the garage and cycle through them. That way you're not actually getting rid of things, but if you take them away from the kids for a little while, they are really excited when they come back. I don't know about you guys, but when I start to organize, I get in the zone. I love, love organizing. Leave in the comments below, do you like to declutter and organize? Does it totally get you in the zone? Does it get you motivated to do the rest of the house? It definitely does for me. I'm gonna use just regular old generic storage bags. This is the quart size and I'm gonna write on the outside with a Sharpie and just put some of the smaller game pieces in here as well as the kids' little figurines. It makes it so much easier to get stored. I've taken care of all of the toys. Everything is decluttered, organized, and the room's feeling so much better now. This room doesn't bring me a lot of joy, so I am gonna change that. I'm gonna start pulling everything out. First, I'm gonna clean it, and then I'm gonna de redecorate it a little bit. I will shop my house or just rearrange furniture and whatnot just to make the room feel new, and I love it. Always shop your house whenever you wanna spruce things up. That is the first place you need to go. The old antique door as well as the antique chair were gifted to me. The door actually was given to me by my sweet friend Christina. I did not do anything to it. This is exactly the way she gave it to me and it is absolutely perfect. I love the way it looks. I mean, it is all natural. And then I just stuck an old mirror I had on top of it. The chair, I left its natural stained color from my neighbor who gave it to me when she left. 
and moved away and then I just recovered this seat with a blue velvet fabric that I got off the clearance rack at Joann's. This wash cabinet, I believe it is, um, is actually from my stepdad. So his father, I think, or no, his grandfather built it, so. Okay friends, I am done decluttering and organizing and cleaning the playroom and I like the way it turns out. Just her moving some things around, it just gives this room a fresh feel and look and honestly, I don't mind people walking in and seeing this. So let me know in the comments below what you think. All right, the next room to tackle is the kitchen. It is so messy, you guys. I am giving you a little glimpse before I tackle it. I just got some groceries, so I'm gonna start putting these away. I'm now gonna start flattening all the boxes to put in the recycling bin in the garage. This is something I do whenever I'm putting our groceries away. I'm going to strip the boys bed now and then I'm going to put these in the wash so they will have time to wash before bedtime. Here's the boys bathroom and our guest bathroom. It is a regular occurrence to have toothpaste and clothes everywhere. So this is the next room I'm going to tackle and get this so clean. I've been using these Everspring wipes. I got them from Target and they are really good for quick wipe downs. I'm also going to use these for the toilet because it makes it so much easier to clean. Next, I'm gonna do the living room. I'm gonna pick up all of the kids' toys and start putting them away where it goes. And then I will do a quick vacuum in here.
I pulled the sheets out of the dryer and I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the kids' bed. The sheets have been put on the bed and I'm gonna help the boys declutter a little bit in their room before we start putting away their toys. The room is all done and I went ahead and moved their letters that were above Josiah's bunk bed onto the opposite wall as you see here. And I just rearranged a few things as well as decluttered and honestly the room just feels so good. I know these boys are going to sleep so well tonight. I'm working on the entryway now. It is getting pretty late tonight, but this is one area that has been on my mind to do and redo for such a long time. In my summer home tour that will be up this week, it was supposed to be up last week, but life. Kids being home and raining every day, it got delayed, but it is gonna be up this week. But this is one area that I'm super excited to show you guys. So I was just playing around with a little bit, cleaning it up and just playing with the decor. Let me know in the comments below, do you guys have an entry table? And if you're on Instagram, I would love if you would tag me in a picture of it because I would love to get some inspiration from you guys. Coming into my kitchen, I'm gonna get a final cleaning with it being summertime. I clean this kitchen so many times during the day, but I am learning to kind of wait later on in the day so I don't get fr so frustrated. I especially love cleaning at night because then I can clean this sink. And this is one of my favorite things to do as I've mentioned in previous videos. It is so satisfying to clean out my sink and my stove top.
I made sure to add this awesome silicone rack here. This can be used for drying rack as well as baking. It is in my Amazon favorites. I made sure to do that in my last video. So if you guys see anything, I think everything is updated to this point, but if not, make sure to comment below and let me know if you're looking for something in there. On this particular evening, I actually did one side of the sink where I had the drying rack first, and now I'm doing the other side. Then I'm gonna hop over to the cooktop here and start cleaning it with the same cream cleanser. I got some of these really cute lemon hand towels and I think they are so cute. I just washed them so I was really surprised that the color stayed. This was from the Dollar Tree, so that's a win. I love these, perfect for summer. This is my favorite part. I love to wipe all of this cleanser off. It's so satisfying. I wasn't planning on doing the microwave, but you know what? This is exactly how it happens. I start cleaning and then I just, I'm not even in the mood to clean, but I do it because I need to, and then more motivation comes. So like I've mentioned in previous videos, if you're not in the mood to clean or do whatever that you need to do, just give yourself five to 10 minutes, start it, and nine times out of 10, you will end up having more energy and more time, feeling like you wanna spend more time doing whatever the task is. It's a little trick, and it works almost every single time. And everything looks so good, and this microwave is so clean, so that's so rewarding, and the more that I do and accomplish, I feel so rewarded, and I wanna do more and more. I wanna remind you guys to check out Joanna's channel. Let her know that Lynn sent you, say hello. She is a new YouTuber and honestly, she is doing so well, you are going to love her. Make sure you head over there and subscribe. If you are from Joanna's channel, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you more than you ever know. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Before you go, don't forget to hit that notification bell. I love you all so much and I am so grateful for you. Thank you for hanging out with me today and I know this video gave you some motivation. So let me know in the comments below, what are you up to today? Are you cleaning and watching this or just relaxing? I hope whatever it is, it's bringing you joy. I know my house feels so good and so clean and I definitely feel pretty good about it. I'm excited to show you guys the summer home tour. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I love you. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.